That's a good one. Hello, Mike Lawrence here, along with Todd Ellison and Clint Wright. Welcome to TGM Golf and the R3 approach to playing and improving at the game of golf. If you're here, it's because you like the game, maybe even love the game. We as golfers are involved in this game for both purposes, to both play and to improve the way we play. Well, this game's difficult enough to improve at, as we know, but that's part of the fun of the game. And this, again, is what the R3 approach is all about. <clears throat> we take a path that breaks the whole improvement, the whole playing and improvement process down essentially into six component parts. As you'll see in the videos below, we explain what these different components are in terms of our approach to playing the game. There's so much information out there for us to get our, get our, uh, glean our information from that oftentimes it can get very confusing and frustrating for us as golfers. Well, we have fun with the approach. We often call it, let's do work. It's the doing work process that gets us somewhere in the game of golf. But when we're doing this work, we need to know that we're working on the right things in the right way and at the right time. And again, this is what the R3 approach is all about. As golfers playing and involved with this game, we're both player and competitor. We're, pl we're teacher, coach, and student all at the same time, all wrapped up in one package. That's a pretty neat aspect of being involved with the game of golf is all about. It's a very, very singular process, but we're collectively involved in the game as, as one big group. So the videos that we have below on the homepage here explain a little bit about each of the components in the R3 approach. Love for you to have a look at them and uh, get a little bit of a taste for what each component offers in terms of getting on the path breaking the, our process down into different uh, different component parts, if you will, helps us to know that not only what we're working on, which is, which is referred to in the R3 approach as the what axis, but it also helps us to understand how we can put into play everything that we've been working on while on the what axis. So often, and, and you can very much sympathize with this and empathize with this, so often we'll, we'll feel like we have things worked out on the practice tee, but we have a hard time taking it to the golf course. In the R3 approach, we call this crossing the bridge. We need to know what kinds of emotional and mental processes are going to be involved with our ability to cross the bridge from the what axis over to the how axis when we play. So it's a lot of fun. Again, we often refer to it as doing work, doing good work. When you're involved with us uh, in the R3 approach, that's exactly what our aim is. We call it teeing up the R3 approach. When we uh, work on our games and when we play the game, it requires thought, it requires enthusiasm, and it requires effort. So, tee up the R3 approach with us by having a look at some of the information here at the home page. There's a couple of uh, complimentary ebooks that uh, introduce you in a little more detail for sure to the R3 approach. Very interesting information. At first, it might seem that it's a little bit, a um, little bit confusing, a little bit cumbersome. But hey, after all, that's that's what the game is. It uh, continuously seeks to uh, keep us a little confused, keep us a little bit off track, if you will, in terms of our improvement process. That's just the peculiar nature of the game uh, that we will face, and it will never change. It will always be the same. So our best, uh, our best hope in terms of genuinely improving with the game is to know that we have a path where we are working on the right things in the right way and at the right time. And again, this is specifically what the R3 approach is. And as, uh, as players, competitors, teachers, coaches, and students of the game, we can share this information with one another and uh, help to kind of decipher all of the information that's out there, put it into context, put it into some kind of order. It's a lot of fun. Obviously, improving at the game is a great thing to know that we're doing. And uh, being, again, putting forth the effort, being enthusiastic about that effort, and then uh, knowing that we're moving forward is, is uh, a great motivation to continue those efforts. So have some fun looking at the site here with us, and uh, we'll look forward to talking with you a whole lot more about the, uh, the, the overall R3 approach as well as anything and everything related to helping you improve your golf game. Okay, thank you very much. Look forward to talking with you soon.